Don't go out that door. Go out that door and you'll kill us all. Welcome. We're here to talk about 10 Cloverfield. Yeah, knock, knock. Open up the door. It's Will. Another one of my reviews for the Will West Show. And this time I'm talking about 10 Cloverfield Lane. So if you don't know, 10 Cloverfield Lane is the sort of pseudo-sequel spin-off movie uh, with the name Cloverfield in it. Um, and I'm going to stress this right here and right now. Do not go into this movie expecting a direct sequel or a lot of answers to the original Cloverfield. You'll be disappointed. And with that out of the way, let's talk about the movie. So, as you kind of saw from like the preview that came out like a month ago, um, Mary Elizabeth Winstead's character, uh, Michelle, is kidnapped and just put brought into John Goodman's uh, character's bunker. And he says it's the end of the world, and she's like, uh, you're kind of nuts and crazy and just like a big imposing figure. Um, I'm going to believe you <laughs> for now. Uh, there's also another guy in there, Emmett, I believe is the character's name. Uh, I think the actor's name is John Gallagher Jr. Uh, he, he's the one that was in the sling, the other guy in there. Uh, I guess he helped build the bunker. The main plot of the movie is just her trying to escape and figure out if John Goodman's telling the truth about uh, into the world or if uh, he's full of crap. And I gotta say, uh, I enjoyed the movie. It was great. If you go in, like I said earlier, if you go into it with that mentality that it's not a direct sequel, you can enjoy this movie for what it is. Um, I guess. I, uh, it's being compared to Twilight Zone and Black Mirror with the premise, so with the whole Cloverfield thing. Like that could be like its own brand of things. Uh, but I was a little bit disappointed because, if I'm being honest here, I wanted to see that monster. I wanted to get more questions and answers about it. Um, and the end kind of le uh, leaves it open to that. Um, spoilers. Um, if you're watching this, uh, I might have a thing of River Song or just maybe a caption that says spoilers right now. Um, you've been warned. Uh, but here we go. Um, she's a, Mary Elizabeth Winstead's character um, is a fashion designer, I guess, and she makes like a makeshift uh, hazmat suit so she can go out in the potentially hazardous environment. Uh, turns out Goodman is lied, he's full of crap, because he's nuts. We kind of figured that. Um, but there's aliens attacking. Uh, crazy, right? Uh, not, it's not so crazy with the original movie, but um, yeah, uh, she attacks those and manages to survive. And uh, it kind of leaves off, off on a cliffhanger. She hears like a radio signal about survivors, and she heads towards it, which leaves it open for a third movie to like wrap it up and kind of put a nice little bow on it. But yeah, um, if I'm being 100% honest, I'm gonna have to give it a three point. About a 3.75 out of 5. It came close to getting a 4 or 5, but it's still a great movie. I'd probably buy it like in a bargain bin on Blu ray. Um, but yeah, that's about it. Um, if you like this movie, um, go in the comments. Tell me why I'm wrong. <laughs> um, if you want to see more of this guy, uh, just go ahead and uh, subscribe. Uh, and how about, uh, my challenge for this video. In the comments, why don't you talk about your favorite spin-off or uh, sequel, like spawn off like a smaller movie. And if you liked what you've seen here, just remember, when there's a will, there's a way. Thanks for watching, guys.